Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Healthspan. We recently had the opportunity to interview Dr. Volta Longo, who is the Professor of Gerontology and Biological Sciences and the Director of the Longevity Institute at the University of Southern California. He was also the main developer of the fasting mimicking diet. This is a diet which gives the benefit of fasting while still being able to eat. Today we'll have a look at a clinical study on the efficacy of the FMD in improving risk factors for metabolic syndrome. First, a disclaimer that in this video we are sharing a study that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. Here is the paper, Fasting Mimicking Diet and Markers Risk Factors for Aging, Diabetes, Cancer and Cardiovascular Disease. Dr. Longo is the main author. Calorie restriction has been shown to improve healthy aging, but it is quite difficult for people to stick to and may have adverse effects, so it's not very practical as an anti-aging technique. This led to the idea to create Fasting Mimicking Diet, or FMD, which would activate the same pathways, but be easier for people to maintain. The diet is low in calories, sugars, and proteins, which are the main ingredients which activate mTOR and growth factors, while being high in unsaturated fat. The paper is a write-up of a trial with 100 generally healthy participants in the US. The regimen was for the treatment group to have five days of FMD a month for three months, while the controls continued with their current diet. The FMD reduced body weight, trunk and body fat, lowered blood pressure and IGF-1 with no serious side effects. After three months, the cohorts were crossed over. They also saw the effects were more beneficial for those with elevated risk markers. And the conclusion is that the five-day FMD was safe, feasible, and effective in reducing markers, risk factors for aging and age-related diseases. Metabolic syndrome, as defined as having three of the five conditions, abdominal obesity, elevated glucose, high blood pressure, high triglycerides, or low HDL, is a common problem. Fasting or very low calorie diets have been shown to ameliorate diseases in mice, but randomized trials for fasting have not been tried on humans. Despite its suspected benefits, prolonged fasting over one day is difficult to implement for people. It also has the possibility of exacerbating existing nutritional deficiencies and is not good for children, the elderly, the frail, and possibly some adults. So it's not very practical. The aim is to create a practical protocol which would have the benefits of fasting, but be easier and safer to follow. For this, they developed the FMD. This diet has been tested in animals and is aimed to achieve similar effects as fasting, in particular, lowering IGF-1, glucose, and increasing ketone bodies. To avoid nutritional deficiencies, the FMD has 3,000 to 4,600 kilojoules per day. This is about 720 to 1,100 kilocalories. Here are the results that they saw at the end of the trial. We can see that in nearly all the cases, the markers for those on the FMD were improved. For example, body weight was down, as was trunk fat, but lean mass was up. The one exception was HDL, which was down in both arms of the trial. Since the controls were meant to continue with their existing diet, there should not have been much change in their numbers, which is mostly what we see. They also looked at how much change there was based on how far out of range a specific marker was at the beginning. So for example, in BMI, we can see that for those who had a BMI over 30, there was a larger improvement than for those who had a lower BMI to begin with. Also, they invited the participants to come back three months later for a checkup. They did see that the beneficial effects like lower glucose and blood pressure had persisted. They do mention that this might have been because taking the FMD had changed the eating habits of the participants, as this data was not collected. Though they did see a recovery in the HDL levels in those who had a lower number to begin with. One note was that 25% of the participants in the FMD arm dropped out against 10% of the control, which would indicate that despite the FMD being easier to maintain than a water-only fast, adherence still required considerable commitment. 
Fasting is difficult, and it would be great if we can activate the same pathways and get the same benefits without doing water-only fasting. The FMD seems like an interesting way of achieving this. We go into more detail on the FMD and the studies behind it in the interview. Mm -hmm.